if your trial version of Scilab is already expired, you will have to manually copy the new license files into the proper folders. To do so, open your email, select the Calink email, and here it is, my license file.zip. I double click to open, I click on open, and I can see the files that are included on the license file.zip compressed file. I have four files because my version of Scilab is print and cut but you might have only two if you have Scilab Vinyl or Vinyl Pro. I need to extract all the files first. I click on Extract All. This is a good location, so I click on Extract, and I have my four files here. Now I need to copy those two files, Product S and Product S.LCF, into the Scilab folder, and those two into the Visual Production Manager folder. There are several ways to do that. I will show you what I find it is the easiest way. First, if you don't see this menu, you need to enable it. You go to Organize, Layout, and put a check mark under Menu Bar so you can see the menu bar here. Now, you're ready to copy the files. Let's copy the first two files, Product P. I click on it, and I Control click to select the two of them and I'm ready to copy those two files into the Visual Production Manager folder. I click on Edit, Copy to Folder, and I browse to the C Drive, Catlin folder, Visual Production Manager folder. I click on Copy, and it's telling me that there are already two files with the same name. I click on Copy and Replace, and again, Copy and Replace. Now I'm ready to copy the other two files. I click on Product S, I control click on the product s.lcf to select both. I click on edit, copy to folder, and this time I go to the Signlab folder to copy the two license files that belong to Signlab, product s and product s.lcf. Click on copy and again replace and replace. Now everything is ready. I close all this and I can open my Signlab and I can see it opens without the trial message. My Scilab is working now with permanent license files.